Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR. And today I'm going to do a tutorial on creating a flip book, an animated flip book in PowerPoint. Uh, this is what we were working on in the Zoom meeting yesterday and figured out a few things. Uh, there might be better ways to do this, easier ways to do this. I am not sure. Um, but this is what we came up with. Okay, so I, I created a new file. I'm just going to select that and delete it. Okay, now the flip I'm going to be working on is going to have 8 by 10 images in it. So I, I want to create... Uh, a size here that'll fit that so I'm gonna have it two-sided right so you come to custom slide size and just double the width so 8 2 times 8 is 16 and the height is going to be 10 right so any book that you're creating a flip book that you're creating if you're creating a 6 by 9 you would want the width to be 12 by 9 all right okay so I'm just gonna do that Okay, so now we have our template, and what I'm first going to do is insert a line in the middle here. Okay, so what you want to do when you want a completely straight line, hold down your shift key first before you drag it out. So see, it'll keep it completely straight no matter which way you go, right? So that's just an easy way to not mess, mess it up. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to the shape format, shape outline black. Okay, and I look over here and I know my height is 10 and my width is 0. And that means when your width is 0 that it's completely straight. And I'm just going to make sure it's in the middle and centered. So I think it is, but there we go. Okay. Now, what you want to do is add your images so on this first slide you're only going to want to put it on this side one image not both and the rest of the slides you'll have both right because that's how a book would work this is basically the inside cover say so you want to put your first image on the right hand side so I'm gonna go and just grab it Okay, slide one, basically. So I'll come down here. Okay, and I'm just going to, whoop, I grabbed two at the same time. So let's just delete that one for now. And I'm going to put that in the right-hand side. Okay. So then what you want to do is you want to come over and insert a rectangle, okay, over that. So let's just do that. Okay, and I want to go to Shape Format, Shape Outline, No Outline, uh, Shape Fill. I want it to be white. And then you're going to come back to Shape Fill and go to Gradient. And you're going to choose this gradient over here. It's called Linear Right. Okay, so we're just going to do that. <coughs> now, uh, see how it completely covers the image, but you don't want to put this behind. You want this on top, so you have to play with it, okay, in terms of getting your image underneath to show. Now, we want this here because most books have this, right, the shadow over on here, but this is too much. So right-click on your, your um, rectangle, go to Format Shape, so it brings this up. Okay, so you go to fill and see it has all this stuff here. So you want to come down to the gradient stops and I get rid of that one. I do. You you could play with it and see see what you like. Then I bring the white all the way over here because I don't want it to, you know, be all the way over here covering the image. So I'll bring that over here. And then you're going to make sure you're on the white stop here and go to transparency 100%. All right. Now see what that does. It brings the picture up, but you also get this shadow back here. And I think I want mine to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to click on the, the gray stop here, come down here where the paint bucket is and maybe choose a dark gray. 
okay? And that's totally up to you. Uh, it's all about preference, right? So you just play with that until you got something you like. Uh, I can make it a bit more transparent, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is, okay? So there, now you have your first page. And what you're going to do is come over here into the pane and just click on that and do Control D. That'll duplicate your slide for you. Now, in order to add more pictures, okay, we, we're going to have to get rid of this one. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But let's click on this one first. Now, just duplicate this, Control D, bring it over here to the other side, and then come up to Shape Format, Rotate, Flip Horizontal. Okay? So now you've got it on both sides, right? So in order to get rid of the um, picture underneath and add two more, you're going to have to come over to your selection pane. Otherwise, you're going to be moving this to get to that. And anyway, so just go to your selection pane. And we can get rid of format shape for now. And you come down to your picture and just delete it, right? So now what we want to do is go grab two more pages, our second and third page, right? And I'm just going to drag them in. I mean, you can um, you can just go into insert if you like, if that's the way you do things. It's totally up to you, whatever works. Okay. And just click off so that you're only got one each. So we're going to put this in and this one in. Line them up. Okay, and when you have your selection pane up like this, it's easier. You don't have to come up and go to picture more format, send to back, send back, or send to back. It's three steps. So with your selection pane up, you can just grab these and bring them all the way to the bottom. So grab your pictures and bring them to the bottom, and that will give you the shadow on top. It makes it a bit easier. Okay, so we're just going to do this until we have about five or six pages and then we'll do the animation. So I'm going to come back over here, duplicate this page, then I'm going to come to my selection pane and I'm going to delete the pictures. Okay, and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to drag the next two pictures in. Okay, and then set them up. Right, and then I'm just come come over to the selection page and pane and drag the pictures to the bottom. All right, Control D to duplicate the page. Come over to the selection pane, delete the pictures. Go get your next two pictures, however which way you do it, inserting it or okay, drag them in, set them up. Go to your selection pane and drag the pictures to the bottom. And let's do it one more time. So control D, go to your selection pane, delete the pictures. Go and get your next two pictures. Drag them in or insert them. place them, and then drag them over from the selection pane to the bottom. Okay, <clears throat> so now we have five pages, and let's see how we do. So I don't even think you have to select each one, so I'm going to try it this way. So I'm going to come over to Transitions. So up here is where your transitions for animation are, and if you come down here you'll see all these but if you do the down arrow on mine at least uh, under exciting transitions you get all these and right over here is page curl okay so let's see how to do this now see if this works I might have to get rid of that actually um, maybe not okay so when you're on transitions you've chosen one it 
it has this over here, right? Duration of the actual transition is 1.20, 1.25. Now you can advance each slide when you click on the mouse, uh, but we want it animated, right? So you're going to cl click that off, come over here and go after. So this is basically move to the next slide after a certain number of seconds. So let's put two seconds, which is a little bit long, but it, I think it'll show us better what we can do, right? So once you've done that, come over here. It says apply to all. So I'm going to do that. See how it puts stars up next to them? All right. So now I want to see what it looks like. So you're going to come over here to slideshow, right? And I'm going to play it from the beginning. Oh, cool. There we go. So once you see what it looks like, you can tell if you want to make it, you know, the shadow darker later, and then you just go in and play with it, right? So that's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if I want the uh, transition up here. So let's see if we can get rid of that. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, yeah, see, I got rid of it. None. So now there's no transition on the first one. So let's see how it plays now. Go back to slideshow, play from beginning. Yeah, that's what I want. So you don't want to put a transition on uh, the first one. Okay. Now, yeah, I wouldn't because it doesn't look right. Okay, you could put in a cover, I guess, a cover slide that has your cover on it and do it like that, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to go into that. So if you want to play more with it, you can. Okay, so once you've got it all down, you've got your transitions done and, and you want to save this. What you want to do is go to File, Export, and Create a Video. Okay, so we'll do create a video. And I usually just leave the settings at this, right? Full high definition, because you're going to be putting it up either on YouTube, your own website or whatever. And then I leave this here as use recorded timings and narrations. If this is not set to that, okay, or if you don't want that, you can choose different things. Uh, it'll set it to this okay automatically so you want to play with that but I just leave it like that because I'm not doing you know Hollywood movie here <laughs> I don't, I'm not you know gonna go crazy with it and then you just click on create video and it will bring this up and you just name it and we'll save it as an mp4 file so that you can use to upload to Amazon S3 you can upload it to your website you can upload it to YouTube and then do what you're going to be doing with it okay so that's pretty simple and one thing that we talked about as well was to uh, save PNG files right so say you have like this okay puppy journal which actually you can get in the shop now I just put it up today I'll tell you about that later if you want to save your templates, okay, th these are all PNGs, all, these are not PNGs, these are PowerPoint templates, right? So if you don't have that in my packages, I usually put the PNG files in as well, just in case people just want to, you know, sell them in their Etsy shop. They don't want to make changes or, you know, for their Etsy shop, they should, but some people don't. Um, you can save your PowerPoint template files as PNG files, high definition, high quality. So you would just go to File, Export, Change File Type, okay? And then you would want to come down here, Image File Types. You don't want a JPEG unless you're actually just going to be using these for the web, okay? You want PNG uh, files if you're going to be printing them or you know you want that so you just click on PNG portable network graphics save as this will come up put this 
Oops, a different number. Because I already have it done. Click on Save. And you'll get this come up. So if you want to do all the slides, just this one, you just click on that. So I'm going to do all slides. And then it'll tell you where it is. Okay. So it just makes it really easy sometimes if you want to play with the uh, pictures for your book covers. So if you don't get the PNG files in your package, um, you can actually just make them yourself. Mm -hmm.